What's up guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling an office in Revit. It will be an interior design tutorial and I'm just going to be modeling a conference room with all of the elements and then I'm going to create an interesting rendering of this room. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, here I am in Revit and if I just minimize Revit for a second you can see I have some families over here on my desktop and these will be the families that I'm going to be using. This is something I downloaded from Revit City and the links to all of these families will be in the description of this video. So if you want to recreate this interior design you can just follow those links and get all the necessary families. But okay, anyway let's go into the architectural template for this project. Yeah, let's open it up and let's set, set the units to centimeters immediately because that's just what you use for interior design. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to model the actual desk. I found this cool desk online and I thought it would be kind of a cool conference room desk. It has this center place where you can kind of plug in all of your laptops and stuff. So it's it's very useful, it looks cool, so let's try to model that in Revit. So I'm just going to be creating that as a separate family, so I'm just going to go here to File, New, Family, and let me drop back to Metric Units, and you can use Imperial as well if that's what you choose. So let me go here to Furniture, and let's go to Front, and now let's start designing our table. So I'm just going to create an extrusion, Take your rectangle, set the work plane to front to back, that's okay. And now let's create just a rectangle like this. And I'm just going to select this and the height usually for a work table it's either 70 or 72 centimeters. So I'm just going to leave it at 70 for this. So just type in 700 because that's in millimeters. And then for this height let's place it at 30. Okay, so now let's determine the width and here I'm just going to place 700 again and let's do the same thing on the other side, so place this at 700 as well. Okay, so once we have this top part, top, top part of the desk, let's just copy that down just a bit so you have kind of this little shelf where you can slide your laptop, your phone or whatever you have over here just to kind of have an extra shelf for this desk and for the extrusion end I'm just going to type in here let's type in 1400 and for the extrusion start let's type in minus 1400 so it's 2800 in total so let's just finish that and go into reference plane okay this this looks quite alright Okay, and now let's do the legs. The legs are interesting for this table, so I'm just going to go to Create, Extrusion, and let me start with a line kind of like this. Let's offset it by 80 millimeters, kind of like that. Now let's select it, let's mirror it to the other side, and let's place one line over here, and let's place another line over here. And now just by using Trim and Extend, I can trim and extend everything together kinda like this and then let's just use split element and split this and split everything here and now just trim and extend to trim everything in place. So you just go all the way around and you cl complete the legs. Okay so once we have this I can just go finish and for the extrusion start and end I'm just going to type in let's say 40 and here minus 40 so it's 80 millimeters in total and if I go to left elevation I can select this maybe unconstrain it, move it, let's try again. So select it, move it, make sure to unconstrain it it won't work for some reason. Let's try copying it. Unconstrain. Yeah, it can copy. Okay, so let's place it here. Let's select this and delete it. And let's select this one and mirror it around. Okay, and if I go into 3D, this is what we get. So it's an interesting looking table and let's just I'll leave it at that. We don't have to add all of the details. It's a bit unnecessary for this quick little project. Okay, so let's just select these legs and go to the material 
And let's type in black just to see what we get. And uh, let's try, yeah, let's try this plastic. That's okay. Apply. And for the actual material of the desk, I'm just going to use birch wood. So let's see, or let's just type in wood. Yeah, here it is, birch. Go apply. Okay. And let's just go to realistic. Yeah, that looks amazing. So let's load that into the project and let's place it over here. Now let's add the chairs. And to do that, I'm just going to minimize this or kind of move it aside and move all of these families inside of the model. So we loaded them all in. Wait for a second while it upgrades all of the families. Usually when you download families from Revit City, it, they're in some older version of Revit, so it needs to update. Okay, let's just go to component. Let's find our chairs. So Eames aluminum chair. I really love this chair. It's actually the chair I'm sitting on right now. Okay, but anyway, let's place one here. Let's select it. And if we go into 3D and let's set this to realistic, you can see this chair is completely gray. It's got that default material. So it doesn't really come with the material all set up. So you need to go in here and set up the material in the edit type dialog. So for the seat material, I'm just going to look for something white. So let's just type in white. And we can use I don't know. Let's see, let's use this paper white. And I've tried using some fabric materials for this chair and it just doesn't look right in the rendering. And let's just search for Chrome for this. Steel chrome plated, yeah, that looks fine. Go apply, okay. Yeah, there you go. And chrome looks black like this, but when you render it, it, it looks amazing. Okay, let's go back into level one. Let's copy this chair, kind of like that. And once again, okay, let's kind of make it okay. And let's go create similar. Place one here on the head of this table and let's just mirror this to the other side. Okay, so we have all the necessary chairs. Let's now create the room around this. So I'm just going to go WA for wall and create kind of a rectangle like so. We can make it a bit smaller here on the sides. And let's extend this a little bit here. Okay, so we have our walls and let me just select one of the walls, go into edit type and let's change this to gypsum wallboard because that's what's usually all of the offices are just gypsum walls, simple construction. And for this wall over here, I want it to be a bit different. So I'm just going to go to edit type, duplicate, and then let's just add concrete. So it will be kind of a concrete wall. It looks nice. And let me search for something. I like this precast. I like the, the, the texture of this precast material. So let me load that in. Go apply. OK. OK again. OK. Come on. There you go. And let's just change this wall to that storefront wall because we need to add some light to the project. And if we go into 3D, you can see this is way too tall. So I can select everything. I mean all the walls and then let's attach them to level two. Okay, and for the ceiling and the floor, let's do the ceiling first. So go to level one and then you go to ceiling and let's choose this 60, 600 by 600 millimeter grid. And we can use just automatic ceiling and of course you can't see it. And if we go into ceiling plan, now we can see our ceiling. And let's place just some regular lights on the ceiling. So just go to component, load family, drop back, go to metric, find the lighting. Yeah, lighting, architectural, internal, and let's just use this linear box. And let's just place one here, rotate it. it. The space doesn't work for this light for some reason. But anyway, let's just place it like this. And usually I like to place it within this grid. So it kind of looks like it's fitting inside of the grid. And let's just copy that. So copy from here to here. And then select these two and go copy and copy them maybe here. 
Okay, so we have our lighting or our ceiling done. And if we go here, let's add a door over here for entering. That's fine. Maybe extend this a little bit. This as well. Now let's do the floor and it will be some carpet floor. So let's just create a rectangle over here like that. Go to edit type and search for the material. Let's type in carpet. And I found some cool, yeah, I, I like this carpet. So let's go apply, okay, okay, apply, okay, finish. Okay, so we've got our carpet. Now let's add just a few more things to make everything look more realistic. And the first thing I like to do is I like to add this kind of a shelf over here that's integrated in the wall. And I'm just going to create that as a simple in place family, not, not in place, just as a simple family. So just go family drop back to metric search for generic model wall based because it will be a wall based family go to placement side and now let's just create a void extrusion set the work plane to the outside of the wall and let's just place something like that place this at 900 and let's make it i don't know 500 tall yeah the width let's say the width is okay let's go to reference level and here just place it like so lock it in place and then you cut this void out go back to placement side let's create an extrusion so just create kind of a set the work plane yeah that's okay why doesn't this align let's pick a plane so pick that so let's create this okay go finish when you go into reference level let's place this at minus 300 so we get that and now we can go back to placement side to go create void extrusion so but before we do that let's change this material to wood so and let's do the same wood as we have on the table so just go birch load it in apply okay and now let's go create void extrusion set the work plane to this here new element and let's do an offset of let's do three centimeters or 30 millimeters sorry yeah and let's place it like that and here let's type in minus 250 go finish okay it should be positive 250 yeah and let's just go cut the geometry so that with that that works and if we go into 3d this is what we get and let's just go to realistic yeah i really like how this turned out so let's just load that into the project project one go OK and let's place it here on the wall kind of like that now let's add a plant just to make everything seem more natural so I've loaded some plant in here a 3d plant let's find it here it is so let's kind of place it like that now let's do a projector and a projector screen over here so I'm just going to go to component here I've got a screen, just let me search for it. Okay, screen type one, and let's place it over here on the wall. Then let's search for the projector. So, okay, home cinema, and wait for a second. And for the elevation, let's place it at 700. That's the height of our table. And kind of place it like that and if you can't see it just go into 3d to see what what's going on okay this was in millimeters so this should be at 70 or in centimeters so let's place this at 70 okay it's on the table now let's go into level one rotate it to the other side so kind of go like that yeah so we've got our projector let's move it back a bit yeah, that's, off. that's fine. And if you have a projector, you need to have a computer to control it. So let's place a laptop over here. Offset 70 again. Place it kind of like that. 
and it's flying for some reason so let's go to east elevation let's turn wireframe on and let's bring it back down I can't see it yeah this looks fine and then let's just nod it in place okay go back into level one and just one more detail that's going to make everything look much nicer and that's some nice coffee cups so let's go to component we want to add some coffee for people to drink and here let's see where's my cup elegant cup of course it has to be elegant I mean we're serious architects here so let's place a few cups for everybody and the director here needs a cup as well okay so we have this let's just go into 3d for a second yeah all of the cups are on the table everything looks nice and let's just render this scene so I'm just going to create a camera kind of angled like this and then I'm just going to bring this down a bit so here I'm just going to type in 140 and here 140 as well yeah this looks better then go to look place it kind of like that and then I'm just going to extend this a bit I know people are saying you shouldn't do that but I just don't care okay so here we go and our scene is complete I just like to set this to realistic for a second just to see if all the materials are right and everything looks right so let's just double tap R and set this to medium and for the lighting I'm just going to use interior sun and artificial and let's try rendering and it's done and it looks terrible now the reason this is so bright is because when you set uh, the, the lighting to interior it cracks up the brightness all the way up so if I just go here to adjust exposure and bring this down a bit to, the, to darker it will look fine so let's kind of bring it down a bit and then shadows we can make lighter yeah this looks better let's do it a bit warmer yeah I like this maybe a bit brighter not so much <laughs> okay but anyway you get a point so there you go that's how you create this cool looking office interior design and this is how you render it Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.